Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just want to speak to you real fast if you would like to learn to sing. I made you a video course. And in that course, you're going to learn all of the best of what I know. So we are going to be improving your breathing, your pitch accuracy, your tone, your range, get you singing high notes, connect your range, ah, right? Where there's no, ah, where there's no puberty break in your voice, we're gonna completely remove it. We're going to give you agility. We're going to give you vocal dynamics, get you where you can sing crazy riffs and runs, give you a unique style, literally everything that it takes to develop a high level singing voice. And the cool thing about the course is that it's there to save you time. So for me, you know, it took me 14 years. It was a long journey, but for you, I made the course to where you could learn all of the best of what I learned in literally like 90 days or less. It just depends on how quickly you wanna get through the course, but literally then you can learn it, you can know it, and then you can start improving your voice so quickly. So if that interests you, if you have a passion for singing, then you could check out my website. It is singer.tv without the E. So S-I-N-G-R.tv. And uh, you can start learning how to sing. Maybe I will see you there after this reaction. You know, this canción is very special for me because since antes de parir, la escribí, escribí una, una carta. Eh, para Frida y se la quiero dedicar porque ahora que tiene 21 años ya es otra historia pero sigo sintiendo lo mismo que cuando estaba dentro de mí <ríe> para todas las mamacitas de la vida del mundo para mi mamá también <ríe> Yo te esperaba y veía mi cuerpo crecer mientras buscaba el nombre que te di en el espejo. Fui la luna llena y de perfil contigo dentro. Jamás fui tan feliz, moría por sentir tus piernecitas frágiles pateando la oscuridad de mi vientre maduro soñar no cuesta no y con los ojos húmedos te veía tan alto es más en la cima del mundo yo te esperaba mm. imaginando mm. a ciegas el color de tu mirada y el timbre de tu voz muerta de miedo le rogaba al cielo que te deje llegar lejos mucho más que yo oh my gosh I love Love, 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 the natural rasp in her voice. I looked up the lyrics, by the way, before I watched this, and, and it seemed like it was, or I looked at the translations, and it seemed like it was a song that was, you know, dedicated to, like, a newborn, or, like, you know, uh, like a song that she would write as she was pregnant, or something like that. Um, that's what I took. It better been the. It, it, this better been the same song, or that's super awkward. <laughs> I try not to like research too much or anything because I wanna, I wanna have you know like the first listen with you. But um, let's talk about her voice real quick. That natural rasp, you know, some of that could be genetic, absolutely. But I wonder, and this is my question to you. Is that genetic or did that come from years on the road and maybe some wear and tear on the voice? Because both of those things can happen. And when it comes to being on the road, like if she's a legendary singer, she's been on the road a lot, maybe when she first started, she didn't have quite as raspy of a voice, right? 
a smoky, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. But it's really important that if any of you are out touring or performing a lot, you've got to get a really, really, really good vocal warm down. You got to warm your voice down after a performance like that, especially if you're going to, you know, perform live. Like it's so important that you reset your vocal cords, that you massage out any tension, literally. Um, especially within the main muscles around the vocal cords, and that you realign the coordination. Um, it's really, really important just to keep your voice healthy when you're out on the road. Yo te esperaba y pintaba sobre las paredes mm. de tu cuarto. Sueños en color restaba sin parar días al calendario solo tú me podías curar el mono de escenario el mundo es como es y no puedo cambiártelo pero siempre te seguiré para darte una mano Listen to that crowd, too. Dang! So much passion from the heart. You know, something I love so much about Latin music is that they truly sing from the heart. There's so much passion in Latin singers, you can just feel it, you know? Y el espejo nos miraba mientras ya te amaba. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out more content, it's on the channel. And if you would like to learn to sing, you can check out my website, singer.tv without the E. So S-I-N-G-R.tv. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.